Well guys, February is over, so now it's time to take a look at the damage I've done. Let's look at this graphic novel haul. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them, all for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Uh, on this channel, I talk about comics. I do unboxings and reviews and overviews. So if you're interested in that type of content, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Um, now, right now, it's time for my monthly graphic novel haul. Um, you already know this is brought to you by Organic Price Books. You can save $2 on every order at Organic Price Books just using code BJKICKS. Now, if you want to buy three, four, five books like I do, then go ahead and use coupon code BJKICKS. Ship it together. All the books will be packed in one package and they'll ship as soon as the, you know, last book arrives in the warehouse. And you'll save 5% instead of just the normal $2. So definitely check that out. Thanks to Organic Price Books for always making these hauls possible. Now, we've got um, quite a few books here. I mean, not quite a few. We've got a few. This is definitely lighter than definitely lighter than January, um, but it's lighter than a few because Marvel shuffled around some release dates. There are quite a few books from March or from February that got moved into March. So we'll see those later. And I'm sure this domino effect will continue all throughout the year. Uh, now, before I show you um, what I've got, I do want to give a quick shout out to Fourth Wall Productions. Uh, they've got a Kickstarter that, as of this recording, is in its last day. So you can back Lumberjacks issue number three. You can get caught up on the whole series. Uh, Lumberjacks is a really cool series about a reluctant hero. This dude does not want to save the day, but he's finding more and more that if he doesn't do it, Who's going to do it? So he's stepping into his destiny. Um, and this volume is called Destiny by Any Means. Uh, so I'm very excited about this Kickstarter project. I already backed. The rewards are insane. So go ahead. You don't want to miss out. Like I said, we're already inside the last 24 hours as of this recording. So go right now to the link in the description, bjkicks.link slash lumberjacks to secure your copies, both physical and digital and take advantage of some of the perks and stretch goals uh, that are already there on the campaign. So once again, shout out to uh, my man Morgan, my man Danny and Fourth Wall Comics uh, for making this video possible. Now, we can get to the haul. So I've got a couple trade paperbacks, a few Omnis and something else. We'll start with the something else since it's so different from everything else. Um, so this right here, this is the Marvel portfolio, the Mark Brooks poster portfolio. So Marvel does these portfolios, um, and this is actually my first time buying one. Um, as you can see, it's still sealed. It just came in the mail yesterday. Um, but basically, if you open this up, there's a bunch of prints, including this one. Um, it's posters. It's posters. I don't have enough space on my wall for all these posters, so you already know I'm going to pick out the ones I want and... The ones I don't will probably end up as giveaways uh, for a future prize or something like that. So stay tuned for that. If you want an overview, uh, JP and David from Organic Price Books actually did a full overview showing you every poster inside. You should check them out because um, I don't think I'm going to record one for this. So that is the Marvel Portfolio by Mark Brooks. Mark Brooks, my favorite cover artist. This X-Men issue or image is what got me into comics. So near and dear to my heart. I figured I'd buy all the posters and for the price I paid, definitely worth it. All right, so now we can get to the trade paperbacks. I got two. Uh, so the first one uh, was probably my most anticipated book of the year, and that is this, The Milestone Compendium, Volume 1. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I was wearing this shirt when I unboxed it, so there's that. Uh, but this collects pretty much the first year of Milestone Media's publishing. Uh, so you get Static, Hardware, Blood Syndicate, Icon, Shadow Cabinet, and Zombie Issues all collected in this huge 1300 page book. Um, very exciting stuff. It's just very cool because most of these issues never saw collected editions. Like there was never a trade paperback collecting this original zombie run. Uh, only the first eight issues of Static ever got a trade. As a matter of fact, I think it was only the first four. 
Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of this stuff that you've never been able to get outside of the original issues that are now available in this compendium. And it is still in stock at Organic Price Books. So after my discount, you'll pay just $43 if you want that. So shout out to the Milestone Compendium. And now, so here we are editing video, right? And I realized I skipped a whole trade paperback. So <laughs> here I am with Squeak to show you what we got. So the second trade paperback that we got in this haul for February was Batman Blink. This is a book. <laughs> this is a book written by Dwayne McDuffie. Uh, this collects the six issues that Dwayne McDuffie wrote for Legends of the Dark Knight. You know, the only ongoing Batman title outside of Detective Comics and um, Batman, of course. So this collects... Batman Legends of the Dark Knight issues 156 through 158 and 164 through 167. Um, I've never read this story, but you guys already know. I mean, we just did the Milestone Compendium. Uh, Dwayne McDuffie being editor-in-chief and one of the co-founders of Milestone, uh, you know, is honestly one of my favorite writers that I've been exposed to so far in comics. And so I've been slowly collecting all the stuff he's done outside of Milestone, which includes a lot of work from Marvel, some work for DC. Um, unfortunately, not enough work outside of Milestone uh, because, you know, he went into animation and then he was taken away way too soon. But anyway, this is Batman Blink, written by Dwayne McDuffie, got art by Val Simix, Dan Green, James Sinclair, and this cover, and all the covers, if I'm not mistaken, are by, by Bar covers by Brian Stelfreeze. Brian. Brian Stelfreeze. <laughs> so anyway. That's the trade that we skipped, and that's how we get to two trades instead of just one. Now let's get back to the video. We're at the Omnis. So the first one I got in was supposed to be a February book, but Marvel, you know, Marvel's gone Marvel, delayed some stuff, and then the Penguin shipment got lost on the way to OPB, but it finally arrived in time for me to get this. This is Wolverine and the X-Men Volume well, it's, there's no volume. It's just Wolverine and the X-Men. Uh, technically, this is volume three of J Jason Aaron's time on Wolverine. He did Wolverine, then he did Wolverine Goes to Hell, and now he's got Wolverine and the X-Men. So this is Wolverine serving as headmaster of the Xavier School, which that's just interesting. Super interesting. We got Teenage Storm here. I've never read this run. Um, you guys know I'm pretty much just I signed up to collect all of X-Men pretty much blind. I think I'm going to stop my modern X or my 90s-ish X-Men with the Onslaught Omnibus that's coming out next month and then pick up after Uncanny X-Men. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to pause between like all the, you know, so-called wacky years. Uh, but we'll see. Next up is a book that I pretty much bought for the cover. And then I got mad because Marvel changed the cover. If you're a Star Wars fan, you already know what I'm talking about. This is Star Wars Legends Rise of the Sith. So this Marvel Star Wars Legends uh, is basically just Marvel reprinting the stuff from when I, or from when Dark Horse had the license to Star Wars. So if you read Dark Horse Star Wars, this is what you're going to get. You got, um, Star Wars, Jedi, The Dark Side, 1 through 5, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, The Aurorian Express, The Phantom Menace, Star Wars, Darth Maul, 1 through 4. There's a lot of stuff in here, so I'm not going to list it all. But it's Star Wars comic books. Despite the fact that they put this stupid frame around the cover that was solicited, it still looks good. And you still get the cover inside. And there's a lot of cool covers inside, actually. So I'm excited about this. Um... To crack this open during my Star Wars read through next year. But there we go. That was Star Wars Legends Rise of the Sith. And we're already at the last book of the haul. I told you it was a light month for me this month. Uh, this is a book that I bought used. I bought it off of Mercari just because my homie Mitch was like, hey, this book's on sale. And he had like a $10 referral coupon. So I was like, sure, I'll buy this. It was this. The Planetary Omnibus. Somebody was selling it for like $35. Um, and I've got mine with the $10 discount. I paid like $25 out the door. So, hey, I've never read this. It's by Warren Ellis with art by Joshua Cassidy. John Cassidy. My apologies. I get John Cassidy and Joshua Kassara confused. Um, 
Artwork looks cool. I don't know anything about this story. I'm told this is Warren Ellis doing his best Grant Morrison impression. I don't know if that's even a good thing. I mean, but people seem to love this run. I figured, hey, for $25, I'll try it out. And if I don't like it, I'll give it away. Because somebody else will like it. Just because I don't like a story doesn't mean it's a bad story. It just means I didn't appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, so that's the haul. Not a ton of books this month. And I don't honestly mind it. Like, it's nice to have a light month. Uh, my shelves aren't buckling. Like, my bank account's happy. I'm a happy man. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this this pose here. I mean, seems like enough books to me. Just saying. But yeah, so that's the haul. Um, like I said, if you are interested in any of these books, then you can get them all, uh, maybe with the exception of Planetary, at Organic Price Books. They are all in stock right now. Be sure to use the coupon code BJKICKS at checkout. Save $2 on every order. Or if you're placing an order of three books or more and you don't mind them shipping together, being all bundled, then use coupon code BJKICKS, ship it together, and you'll save 5%. Uh, and once again, huge shout out to the guys at Fourth Wall Comics. Congratulations on successfully funding your Kickstarter for Lumberjacks number three. If you guys want to get your last minute pledges in to make sure that you don't miss out on all the perks, definitely go to bjkicks.link slash lumberjacks. All the links to everything I talked about today are in the description below. I'll see you in another video very soon. Until then, hope you saw something you liked in this one. If not, hey, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy. And be nice to others, because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.